is more than imagine. This is more than ordinary love. Didn't realize this could happen. Oh, the grace would be enough. This is more than imagine. This is more than ordinary love. Didn't realize this could happen. I don't know how I'm feeling yet. It's not real. <laughs> There's no way that you literally asked me to spend the rest of my life with you. I know we've been talking about it a lot, but I don't know. I love you. Love you too, babe. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Great. It's <laughs> surreal. I don't yeah. even know. It's like, it's just been all God. I feel his peace about yeah. everything. So I just... Enjoying it, I'm I'm present in the moment. Yeah, but it's just an honor, you know, just to have the opportunity. Like we were just praying and praying. It's just all been God's timing, yeah. and just to be with Patricia forever, my best friend. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna sleep tonight. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> me either. <laughs> oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. Let's just go get married tomorrow. I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's go to the court. Totally kidding. <laughs> So let's talk about it. So first of all, just huge thank you for Patricia and Austin for letting me be a part of this video. Um, I don't think they actually knew that I was coming. Uh, my brother has been doing a lot of like wedding photography and things sort of this. Um, so shout out to him. Make sure you give him some love um, at Decaptured. He was gonna take this proposal shoot and he asked me if I would come and take some videos. It was very last minute. I think he texted me maybe like 20 minutes before it was going to happen. So I ran to the house grabbed my camera and it was just amazing it, it ended up being one of my favorite shoots that I've done and I'm really happy with how the video turned out but not really from a production sense like you know there was a lot of things I could have done better I could have you know kept focus a lot more I was still like really shaky even though I was using the gimbal um, like there was a lot of little things that I could have a hundred percent done better but I really just fell in love with the message of the video. Obviously, it was for a proposal. It was just to show how that happened. But I think there was a lot more when you watch the video as well. And for the people who know me, like I'm, I'm very nostalgic. I'm very addicted, you could say, to memories and moments. And it's almost to a fault. Like I think I actually enjoy the memories of a moment even more than the actual moment itself, even if it was a really good or whatever it was. So I think even in this case, like I, I, I just get really emotional and not like I'm gonna cry, but like I get very, I lose myself in the moment when I watch this video because I remember. 
Like I remember the moment she walked across um, the field, turned to the right and saw everything set up. And I remember getting goosebumps when I was like, oh, she's realizing right now what's happening. Or I remember, you know, feeling joyful whenever we were going up to the house where everyone was waiting to surprise her. Or the interview at the end. Like I, I remember those moments and I feel like time has frozen and I'm reliving that in that. It, I feel like time is frozen and I'm reliving that moment right there. And I think I really crave feelings like that. I think that's why I got into videography, into photography. I think there's something about just that feeling. You know, like when, when you're around your friends and somebody says something like, oh, remember when we used to do that? And you all can relate because you were all there. Or somebody finds an old photo and you're like, man, I cannot believe I looked like that back in the day. Like it's those moments that I'm just like, wow, I really want I, I want to make those moments longer and I feel like when I have my camera like I can do that and I feel like Every time I go to do something I have that mindset of let's go, you know Turn memories into memory cards and I feel like that's that's what I'm doing So just all that to say like really thank you for Patricia and for Daniel and for Austin for just allowing me to be part of that moment because it was really it was really nice for me and um, I'm really glad that we were able to do something like that um, but yeah, so let's get into actually what the video is about. So the video is a proposal, and obviously that comes with a lot of emotions on its own, but I think you can really like dig in and try to find out like what is love and what does love mean to me when you watch something like this. Um, and I think it really comes down to like intentionality and to really try to discover like what or who am I? How do I love? How do I show love? Um, because I think we see a lot in like movies and stuff, you know, you hear the stories, the, the good guy gets the girl or the bad guy, whatever, you know, like it, we get that back and forth a lot, but you never really see like the good, the bad and the ugly when it comes to things like that. And I think there's something very pure in being able to like choose love throughout that whole thing. And I think that's one of the biggest things that I've learned from life. I think when I was growing up, I always thought that love was a very feeling type thing, you know, like. Oh, I see somebody, I, I'm attracted to them. And then I talk to them and I get goosebumps. So I get, you know, I, I get giddy, jittery. I don't know what that's called, but like I, I feel all of these emotions and that shows me that I love this person. And although I'm not saying that's bad or not always right, I think at the end of the day, like love is a choice, you know, that like there's gonna be ups and downs. And if you're not intentionally choosing to love that person or love whatever you're, yeah, okay, let's let's keep it as a person. <laughs> like, if you're not intentionally choosing to love that person, then you're going to fail, you know, whether that's being faithful or being supportive or being what they need emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. It doesn't really matter. Like, if you are not making the conscious decision that I am going to love this person, regardless of my feelings, regardless of what they look like, regardless of how they act, regardless of yada, 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 like, I think you're going to ultimately fail. And don't get me wrong, obviously, you know, if you're in a bad relationship, get out of that. If you are in danger, get out of that. Like things like that. Like you need to take it with a grain of salt. But at the same time, like I think it's very easy for us to be like, I love this person because I'm attracted to them. I love them because they do this for me. I love them because they look like this or they do, they make this, they're able to do this, you know? But it's like, what happens when you no longer have any money? Or what happens when you're not as attractive? or your legs stop working, or you lose your charm. You you know, like what starts to happen when life gets really real, really quick. And I think it's just really cool to see something like this because obviously I know both of them, so I think it does a little more for me, but it's just also like, you know people in your life and you're like, man, like they, they're going through it to the end, you know? And then you also know people who are just kind of like, ah, <laughs> you know, like, so I just think it's really cool to, to break it down in that aspect and really to watch something like this and be like, okay, wow, this is the beginning of something that could be really special, but it's not going to happen like that on its own. You know, like it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of actual, like hard conversations, like rough nights, you know, cries, tears, you know, emotional battles. And I think once you're okay with that and understand that that might be part of it and getting through that as a unit is like more valuable than 
it, getting through that as a unit is more valuable than looking over those hard times. And I think it just does a lot. Um, or even just like the more I think about when I think about my relationships in general, and I mean like with my friends, um, you know, I've had a lot of friends within the last couple of months and years get married, um, you know, get engaged, you know, have children. And it's really cool seeing growth. You know, if you grow up with somebody and then, you know, you've known them since you were like in diapers until now, and then you see them get married, it's like, yo, like, <laughs> like that's wild. Like, I, I know so much about you. I've seen you go through so much and to see you love someone, like I know when you're in love. I, I know when you're, when you mean what you're feeling, you know? And it's like being able to see that in real life just like does something or, you know, watching someone go through a breakup or going through a breakup yourself. You know, like I, I just feel like it, it really opens your eyes to, to what love can do and like how powerful that is. So I think that's the first thing that I would say is just like love is like mad powerful. And I think if you don't know what power it holds, then it can be very dangerous. Um, you hear people to say, guard your heart. And I think that's important, but I think it's also important to be vulnerable. But again, if you don't understand how easily love can make you or break you, then I think you're like really on dangerous waters. And I think it's hard too, because at some point we let that overcome our logic. You know, if you think of the first person you've ever dated or your first relationship, whatever that might have been, we were all just messed up. You know what I mean? Like, it's like we were just we didn't know what was going on. You know, our parents couldn't tell us anything. Mom and dad, we were not listening. Our brothers, our sisters, our friends, we were just like we look back and we're like, bro, what were we doing? Or like, you know, girls, you know, what, what were we doing? Like, it's like you, you can't really you can't really explain it but like in the moment it made so much sense and it almost even goes back to when you think of people you know like online on like social media obviously don't listen to everything you see but like you know you'll see somebody and they're like man like this is the best person ever like i love them they're so good to me yada 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 and then as soon as they break up it's like this person was the worst they didn't do anything like i hate them like yeah and it's just kind of like are we looking at two different peoples you know like 10 seconds ago, you said this and this, this, like what's going on? And it's like, oh, you're understanding because you're no longer in this position, like what was going on? And it's like, if you're not guarding your heart in a way where you should in the right way, then you can really, really get hurt. But if you're not being vulnerable enough either, then you're not leaving any room for growth. So it's like, it, it's just so powerful. Like it, it can quite literally change someone's life and it can also completely destroy somebody. And it's like, if you don't learn the balance between those two things, then good luck, I guess. <laughs> like, honestly, good luck. I don't know what to say. And it's like, it's just really cool, like seeing people you've known for a long time. So like, for example, the last video I had was my good friends, Marky and Tiana, they got married and there was just a lot of love in the area like when we were at that reception when we were at the wedding like from family from friends it didn't matter like you could quite literally see like these people love each other and not just the feeling but they love each other in a way that is going to last because they're being intentional and they're choosing to put each other second so they can put the other person first and I think that speaks a lot because it's like, I'm not going to let you take advantage of me, but I also trust that you're not going to take advantage of me. And how do I know that? Because in every single situation, you're putting me in front of yourself and I'm doing the same. So there's really no way for us to fail, you know? And um, am I allowed to use that example? I'm, I'm gonna have to ask Mark if I can use that example, but it's just like that, that's just the kind of thing that I'm talking about where it's like, hey, it takes a lot more than than just feelings and emotions to to make this thing work. This isn't an easy road. This isn't a you know that's the one. Let's get it. Like this is something that you actually have to sit down and figure out on your own. Like, am I good with this? Am I am I willing to go the mile? Am I willing to go the distance? And I think like once you get to that point, you can really do a lot of cool stuff. I'm rambling so much. <sighs> I'm rambling a lot. So that's all I have. I know it was 
crazy scattered. So sorry about that. I didn't really plan a lot of the stuff that I said. Really anything. I kind of thought through what I wanted to do video wise the other day. And I was like, I'll just put a mic up and I'll start talking and we'll see what happens. So sorry that it was all over the place. Hopefully something in there made a little bit of sense. Um, but yeah, if you have any comments, make sure to put them down like your thoughts or like what you think. Um, if you like the video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, I'd like to make a lot more videos sort of like this, um, just where I can, you know, make something a video, whatever it is, and then give my input on it, talk about it, you know, how it makes me feel, like what my inspiration was, whatever it was, just something like that. And hopefully I'll mix that in with a lot of other things as well. But, um, but yeah, and if you made it to the end of the video, you're a real one. Thank you for that. Um, but like I said, you know, show some love. Make sure you tell somebody you love them, and um, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.